Geometry, Chapter 8, Section 1. Uh, we've been doing a lot of uh, congruent shapes, congruent triangles, congruent parallelograms, um, different types of things. This chapter we're going to deal with similarity. And so when things are similar, they have common traits, but some that might just be a little bit different. So if polygons are similar, then there are two things um, that are true. And those two things are... Um, all corresponding angles angles oops, nope, I'm getting into my space where it doesn't write very well corresponding angles are congruent Wow, that's horrible. If I could just write a T. There we go. So all corresponding angles are congruent. And the second part of that is corresponding sides are proportional. And we'll look at that in just a second. Okay, so two qualities of similar polygons. All the corresponding angles are congruent and all of the corresponding sides are proportional. So what does that look like? So let's draw a couple of triangles. So let's look at these two. Um, I forgot to label those. Let's call that A, B, C, and D, E, F. I'll get really original there. And if I told you that triangle A, B, C triangle A, B, C is similar and that our similar sign is just kind of a little squiggly one part of an equal sign. If I told you that it was similar to DEF, and we needed to solve for X. Let's see how we would do that. Okay, so if those two triangles are similar, that means their sides are proportional. So again, order matters. AB is going to be proportional to DE. BC is going to be proportional to EF, and AC is going to be proportional to DF. So let's take a proportion, something that we know. We know AC and DF are proportional, so that's going to be 25 over 15. And let's go ahead and look at AB and DE, because that's where our X is, so that's going to be proportional to 30 over x and now we just have a proportion so that's going to be uh, 25x equals 450 and so then divide both sides by 25 And we get x equals 18. So the missing side is 18. And so now we could also find um, we could also find our scale factor. And the scale factor depends on which one you're going to. So let's call it a scale factor from A B C to D E F. Okay, we'll go from A B C to DEF. And so I'm going to take
I'm going to take any of those. Um, I could do 25 to 15. I could do 30 to 18. We just figured that one out. And I could do 20 to 12. These should all be the same. And so they would all reduce to 5 over 3. So my scale factor is 5 to 3. There's five pieces of A, B, C, D, E, or excuse me, of A, B, C to every three pieces of D, E, F. So scale factor of five thirds. Okay, so honestly, pretty quick section, just a little over six minutes. All we're looking at as is setting up proportions, and then they may give you some um, and ask you to prove that it is similar so you will have to set up those proportions and see if they actually come true so a little under six and a half minutes that's chapter eight section one similar polygons